Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Real Southern Woman. It is March the 28th on a Thursday evening. Chris is still out fishing. I think he fishes till dark today. He has been catching fish. I did not go. I stayed here to rest. And I've been reading. Um, I have a new book on my Kindle. And let me let me uh, tap it and tell you what it's called. It's called the KJV Standard Lesson Commentary for, um, let me go back. Yeah, it's just a commentary, but it's it's like a teaching tool, okay? And I've never used it before, but I read um, the teaching tool for this week. It has uh, teachings for each week um, of the year. And so it was quite interesting. It was out of Joel. So we may read through that a little bit when we get finished with our little lesson that I always read. Um and I just think it's real interesting. Um, I like being able to do more, you know, and get into it. And this really does. It's kind of cool. Um, so I've got my iPad, which is wonderful. And you can see it has this teaching tool on it. It has Jesus, Our Perfect Hope. And it has the ESV Bible. It has the Amplified. Um, and... There is a, let's see, what's that? The 30 Days to Understanding the Bible we did. That's been many moons ago. And different things. And uh, anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit about that today. I hope you are having a blessed day. It's good to see everybody. Um, but in our Jesus, Our Perfect Hope lesson, um, today is, like I said, the 28th. It is about always praying, okay? And so, hey, Velda, hey, Kim. Let's see who else is here. Velda, Kim, and that's all I've got messages from. Um, so, uh, it's good to see everybody. I think we've got about six on. So, this is March the 28th, always pray. And, and you know, I, I fail to pray enough. And, I mean, because I don't always pray. Um... And we could all pray more. And like I, I said not that long ago, I used to think that praying was, I really did. I kind of felt like that praying was something that God already knows about and that you shouldn't beg him for things or something. But I kind of changed my mind on that subject. I'm trying to put this so my glasses don't glare so much. Um and that's mainly because the reason I changed my mind so much, mainly, is because um, I started reading the Gospels at the first of the year, and I see how much Christ prayed. And, golly, if Christ himself prayed as much as he did, then we definitely should be praying, because he was here for an example for us. And not only that, but he felt the need to pray, and if he felt the need to pray, we sure have a need to pray, right? So, um, like I said, this is March the 28th. It says, always pray. Hello, John Nett and Carol. Let's see who else here. We've got Carol Bowers. Uh, John Nett Clark is from Cedartown, where I'm from. Uh, Barbara Brantley. I believe she's from Cedartown, too. Lee Ann Epps. Barbara, let me know if you're from Cedartown. I think you are. Lee Ann Epps. And I'm not sure where she's from. Betty Coots. Hey, Betty. Leanne Epps, Velda Leopard, and Kim Jaron. We've got about 13 or 14 of y'all on here. If y'all want to tell where you're from, that would be really cool. And that way we can see where we are. And we're still all together. That's the cool thing about this. Whenever I get really rich, I'm going to make it so that um, all of our faces pop up on the screen. And it's all of us talking together. Um, but we got to wait on that day to come, right? Judith Burris says she's from Hoshton, Georgia. Hoshton, Georgia. And Lee Ann Epps is from Texas. Betty Coots is from Kentucky. And 
Janet Morris from North Carolina. So we got a lot of people on here from all over the place. Yeah, I, I've seen that app from somebody. Barbara says she's from Rockmark. Same thing, Barbara. You're from Polk County. So you talk just like I do. Velda's from Bream, and she probably talks like me, too. Bream in Georgia. Greenville, uh, North Carolina. That was Patsy Barnes. Kim Jaren is from my hometown, Dallas, Georgia, where I live now. Not my hometown, but where I live now, Dallas, Georgia. And Bonnie Griffin is from Douglasville, which is right down the road from me. Uh, Carolyn King is from Chattanooga, and that's not far from where I had my babies, Carolyn. I had them in Fort Oglethorpe. Amy Strickland Thornton is from Dallas, Georgia, where I live now. Linda Looney is from Mississippi. Linda Looney, you have the funniest name to me. I just can never get over reading it. It's just so cute. Um, anyway, so... Let's start our little study. Why don't we? But yeah, they do have a program that I could buy. I believe that um, when we got together to talk, each of us, only if you wanted to, it's kind of like Facebook where you could see each other. And I know some of y'all wouldn't want everybody to see you late at night if you got your gown on and you don't have any makeup on or whatever. But I think it'd be kind of cool for those of you who wanted to join in. Um... To be able to do that, you know, and that way we really get to know each other. But we can kind of see each other's faces. A lot of y'all don't have your face on your uh, Facebook little thing. You know, you got a dog or your grandkids or something else. But I like it when I can see y'all because then I can put a name to the face and it helps me. Uh, Lori, uh, Lori Vice is from Oklahoma. Lord, I've never been to Oklahoma um, and Barbara says, yes, I'm just a good old country girl. I'm sure you are, girl. Just like me. So, um, and you know what we're supposed to do? We're supposed to pray, right? So this is March the 28th, always pray. Those of y'all who didn't tune in for Bible study, I hope you stay. Because it ain't going to do nothing but make you sweeter. And uh, help you out some. It says, God is opposed to the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. It says, submit therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Don't you want to draw near to God tonight? I mean, shouldn't we all want to be near to God? Because if we are, all we get is blessings for the most part. Uh, although when I read this next lesson that I'm going to read to y'all out of Joel, because he's a prophet, uh, you will find that he does uh, chastise us a little bit. And sometimes we deserve it. Uh, Lisa Lovett is from Tallahassee, Florida. She lives down there in good fishing country, I believe. No, that's Tallahassee. That's the, the capital of Florida, right? I was thinking Stina Hatchie, Linda. I'm silly. Um, it says that this is uh, Charles Stanley who writes these messages these are his words, not mine. I can't take the credit for him. It says, the one thing Satan does not want you to do is pray. So if you feel distant from God, so if you feel distant from God, as if he doesn't want to hear from you, or you should handle your troubles on your own, you know where it is coming from. You're experiencing spiritual warfare. The enemy knows that if he can keep you off of your knees and away from the Lord, he has accomplished his mission. It says he has cut you off from the source of your power, worth, identity, guidance, and purpose. That is a victory for him. You see, after you know Jesus as Savior, the enemy cannot separate you from Christ ever again. All he can do is undermine your effectiveness for God's kingdom by telling you that the Lord does not want you, which is a lie, or that you do not need him, which is also known as pride. Do not fall for the devil's trap, no matter how you feel. Humble yourself before God. Tell him you need him. And will obey. Then praise him for the spiritual victory he will lead you to. 
Um, and this says, my hope is in Jesus because he leads me to spiritual victory. I had a girl today. She watches my uh, Bible studies actually on YouTube. I have quite a few that watch on YouTube. And I'm going to mention her because she is a blessing to me today. And her name is Lisa. I'm not going to tell her last name. But um, she was telling me how much I had changed her life and how I had lifted her up. And I thought, what? And so I said, well, if you don't mind um, sharing with me what you're talking about. So she sent me a message. And I'm going to read it to y'all. And I think it's so sweet. And so... What we don't realize is just by taking time out um, to be with each other, we encourage other people. We encourage other people um, to know that we have somebody out there who has the same interests as we do. We encourage other people um, through the love of God in our hearts and our closeness together. Um, so... Don't think for one minute that you not being part of a Bible study is not encouraging for other people as well. I'm going to read you um, what she said to me today. It is so sweet. And um, I'm going to have to use my... No, I should be able to look at it on this iPad because it's on Messenger. No, it wouldn't be on Messenger if it's on YouTube. Oh, she talked to me through Messenger. She may actually be on this Bible study. All right, this is what it says. First, she emailed me earlier, and she said, just watch your latest bank fishing video. I'm laughing my head off. I, and so, of course, I responded to her. Okay, then she says, um, I, when I asked her why she felt like I had helped her, let's see what I put. I put, she said, um, and loving the Lord is what it's all about. And I said, it sure is, Lisa. It is an abundant life. Chris is on his way out to fish now. I think I will stay and rest. Um, so then she asked me a couple of questions, and I put, um, I'm sorry, but I'm trying to find it. Anyway, I pretty much asked her uh, if it, why she felt that way about me, and this is what she said, okay? So you never know who you're going to touch. You never know who you're going to encourage. And it says, I'm a 65-year-old cook who used to cook for hay crews and cowboys. I mentioned to you a while ago about my depression. Since my four children left home, they are scattered everywhere, and I just did not think that's how it would be. I was an older mother. My first child was, 20, was born when I was 27. The next three at 37, I had twins and then a surprise. Bless her heart. Don't you know she was busy and tired? She says, because of your upbeat personality, I am actually getting out of my chair and receiving sunshine again. I do not like to leave my house because I'm kind of still having a hard time, it says, but your Southern Woman videos are reminding me that Jesus has not forgotten me. I sent you the book, Jesus Calling, because I thought you might enjoy it. Now, this is a lady who's watching and, and learning along with us who has been depressed, who doesn't even want to get up out of her chair, okay? And I told y'all the ones who've known me for a while know that when I started uh, Color Valley Cooks, I actually was sitting in my recliner, and I knew, because I'm on disability, and I knew that if I sat there, I thought, you know, if I just keep sitting here all the time, I'm going to be depressed. I've got to find something to do. 
And, um, and that's one of the reasons I started Colored Valley Cooks. Um, and the day I decided to do the show, I got up and did a video. So I find this very encouraging because Colored Valley Cooks has turned into some other things. And now I'm able to share uh, God, uh, Christ, my life through Christ with you. And am I perfect? Absolutely not. Do I make mistakes? Absolutely. And I was thinking when I read this, honey, if you need, you know, how ugly I can be to some people, because the most, really the most, the, the people I'm the most ugly to are the ones that take care of my mama. I have the hardest time if they don't do something, you know, if they don't do something right, or they're not giving her a bath, or they make excuses, or, and I'm just not always the sweetest person. Um, but anyway, with that said, um, I just found this very encouraging today uh, and excited to have the Bible study. And we should encourage each other and love each other. And so, uh, y'all just keep Lisa in your prayers. And Lisa, I'm going to read one scripture just for you. And let me look it up. And... Um, it is Isaiah chapter 41. Let me go back to my Bible because I'm in this Kindle in our book instead of the Bible. And I'm going to go back, close this book, open the Amplified version, my favorite. Oh, good Lord. It's not going to let me open it, so I'll open this one. Let's see if this one has a Let's see, this one's in Galatians. i got to go all the way back to Isaiah. Here comes my husband. Isaiah chapter 41. Sorry, y'all, but I'm using a Kindle. If I had a real Bible, I could flip to it in a minute. Isaiah. They got the tiniest little things on here. Like my finger's way too big to, to touch it, you know. Chris is bringing in my supper, so. I may have to talk to y'all about the other one. Okay. Isaiah 41, verse 10 says. And this is for you, Lisa. And this is for all y'all, too. It's to help us on days when we feel all by ourselves. Okay. It says, Fear not, I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. That's really sweet, isn't it? Isn't that a, some sweet scripture? Fear not, for I am with you. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. So, you ever feel like you're by yourself? Remember, that's how God feels about you. That's how God feels about me. And that's how God feels about us. And he wants us to know that he has us. Just like the song says when we were kids, Chris over there making them. He, he, he would say, you know, remember when we used to sing? I like to think about this. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. Well, he's got us in his hands, too. So, Lisa, that's for you, baby. I love you. Let's say our prayers. I guess I won't talk about Joel since Chris is home because he has a hamburger for me. Okay? Um, And so, I will... I was reading a message, sorry. Um, I will say our prayers. Let me, let me move these. I'll read them in a minute. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for having us in your hands. We thank you for being a God who cares, for being a God who loves us, a God who provided a way so that you could be close to us again through your Son, Jesus Christ, so that we can actually be your children, be a part of your family, and be a part of the Bride of Christ. I look forward to the day when we get to see him 
when we get to be with you where there's no sin, no trouble, no pain, um, I'm excited about that. And I just pray for those who are listening in on this Bible study that we will all, all of us, including myself, know that prayer is important and that prayer should be a big part of our lives. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Bye, y'all. Happy Thursday night. And thanks for watching. Real Southern Woman.